Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Surrazzle Dazzle Physics. In today's lesson, guys, we're going to be talking about the internal resistance of a cell, guys. So put down today's title, it's going to be the internal resistance. And before we get going, guys, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button to keep my channel going and keep my content as free as possible. Right, so first of all, what exactly is internal resistance? Let's get straight to it. Okay, so here we go, guys. So what is internal resistance? Right, so let's just say, guys, we have this battery here. Hopefully you know what a battery is, guys. Uh, this one's a AAA battery here. Right, inside this source right now, so I'm just going to draw it right now in a circuit symbol. Here we go. Here's a cell right now. Right, this is the cell right now which you know about, yeah? But within this cell, so there is some resistance within the cell itself, guys. So rather than me draw this out like this, guys, as you can see, we have a cell over here which we've seen so many times, guys. I'm just going to actually... Uh, put a dashed line here to show you that what's actually inside the cell is uh, a little resistor in within itself because every single source of power guys has its own internal resistance guys so within this cell right now and I've put this dash box right now so you guys can see it guys within it that there is a source of uh, energy yeah there is a source of energy but there is a little resistor as well there we go there's a little resistor as well as you can see, I'm just going to tie this up a bit, guys, because it's a bit messy over here. Uh, let's go for, there we go, dash, 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 over here. Right, so this is the correct diagram, guys, right now. So, yes, this is what you know. Initially, you knew that the cell was like this. But within the cell itself, there is a source of power and there's a little resistance within itself. That's going to be the internal resistance. Let's label this R, little lowercase r. So, R is going to be the internal resistance guys it's the internal resistance and the internal resistance guys it's going to be the resistance within the cell slash power supply there we go guys yes so here we go this is a nice simple definition for now later on guys we'll be talking about it in a bit more detail and I'll, I'll get a better explanation of that here right so the internal resistance of a cell guys over here guys we can see that there is a cell over here and there is an internal resistance within it, right next to it. Right, I'm going to do something a bit uh, childish, but this is the reason why I do it, because kids can understand it uh, quite easily. So let's just talk about which one's going to be supplying energy and which one's going to be removing energy, yeah? Or if you want, let's talk about it in terms of voltage. Which one's going to be supplying voltage and which one's going to be removing voltage from my circuit? So I'm going to put a smiley face over here because it's going to be adding voltage. So this cell over here will be adding voltage to my circuit. This bit over here, what do you guys think? Do you think it will be adding voltage or removing it? I say it will be removing voltage over here. Okay, so it's a sad face over here. Right, you're probably thinking, why have I done this? Because we're gonna try and get an expression uh, for this whole thing over here, for this whole thing. Right, let's just say right now, guys, I was to do the following. Let's say if I was, if I was to put a voltmeter around the whole thing yeah a voltmeter around the whole thing over here okay right so we can get an expression now the voltage or potential difference across those two points v will be equal to we're going to get an expression now for this we're going to say right now that um this cell over here it's trying to supply us with some voltage we're going to call that the emf of the cell so this is going to be denoted by epsilon here. So this uh, epsilon, it stands for the EMF, which stands for the electromotive force. All right, so I know at the start, guys, some of you might be thinking, oh, why is it called a force? For now, don't worry about it. We'll come circle back to it later on. Right, so we can now try and get an expression now of the voltage coming out. So how much would the voltage be coming out here? Well, look, obviously it will be equal to the voltage which is trying to come out from the EMF, E, but we are going to have to subtract the voltage lost across the internal resistance over here. So there is some voltage loss across this internal resistance. So we're going to say uh, we're going to have to subtract the voltage lost against the voltage lost across the internal resistance, internal resistance over here. Very good. Okay, so how are we going to get that value of the voltage? Yeah, how much, how much would that voltage be around there, the voltage? 
Well, the voltage, guys, we can use simply V is equal to IR. So we know that the voltage drop across there will be equal to I times by little r. Hopefully you remember that from Ohm's law. So we can put that down here, the voltage lost, guys. And obviously I'm going to put that in inverted commas, guys, voltage lost, because you can't really lose voltage. It's just going to be transferred elsewhere. Uh, is equal to the current times by the internal resistance over here. Right, so right, so now guys, obviously we have to put this minus sign in here because this is trying to come out and this one is removing that voltage. So that's why it's a minus sign here. So therefore we end up with the following expression that V is equal to E minus I times by R over here. There we go. There we go. And obviously, guys, we're just going to label them right now. So we're going to say, don't forget, E stands for the EMF, I stands for the current, and V will be equal to the voltage across the terminals. So voltage across the terminals. There we go, across the terminals over here. Excellent stuff now. So now we've got this now. The voltage across the terminal is equal to E minus IR. And there we go. We've now been able to work out where it comes from, guys, because initially we had this as the cell, but within it we actually have a source of energy and we're trying to supply voltage, but the little internal resistance is removing it. That's why I got the expression of the voltage across the terminal will be equal to E subtracting the lost volts across here. Yes, yeah, subtracting the lost volts. That's the reason why it becomes V is equal to E minus IR. Fantastic stuff, guys. Fantastic stuff. Okay, so this is the formula which will be provided to us in the exam, guys. So don't worry about it too much, but make sure you understand where it comes from over here. Right, now, guys, we're going to expand upon this, and we're going to get another formula, guys, for the internal resistance. It's very similar, but we're just going to connect this circuit in a slightly different way. Check it out. Okay, right, so here's our circuit right now, which we just had a second ago. I'm just going to erase some bits of it, like the sad face and the smiley face, guys. I'm just going to erase this over here as well. Right, now we're going to take our circuit, obviously, which we have right now, which is just the power source. We are now going to connect it to an external resistance. So that means we're going to put an external resistance over here, yeah, in our circuit. This one's going to be R. Don't forget, this one's going to be the external resistance now. So don't forget, we put that at the top here. R is equal to the external resistance. There we go, external resistance over here. Right, now from here, guys, we're going to do the following now. We're going to do this. We're going to put a voltmeter around the external resistance. Okay, that's the first thing we're going to do. And guys, I'm just going to put another voltmeter around here. Right, test your understanding on A-level physics and also your GCSE, guys. Um, the voltage drop across here will be what? How is it related to this one over here? Well, they're both going to be the same, yes? So look, the voltage across the terminal will be equal to the voltage dropped across this external resistor due to Kirchhoff's first law, which is that the sum of the voltage in is equal to the sum of the voltage out. Yes, in one loop. So this voltage is equal to this one here. We're going to denote this as VT for the voltage across the terminal. Yes, so uh, voltage across terminal. There we go, across the terminal over here. And then the other one, guys, we're going to put this as VR, V in a subscript R. So we know that it's the voltage drop across the external resistance over here. Right, so we know that uh, from before that our formula still stands. The voltage across the terminal will be equal to the EMF minus I little r. Everyone happy with this? The voltage is equal to EMF minus I times by r. Now from here, guys, we also know that the voltage, which we just said, voltage across the terminal, will be equal to the voltage across the external resistor. But we know that VT will be equal to VR. Therefore, the expression becomes VR is equal to epsilon minus IR over here. Fantastic stuff. Yes, VR is equal to E minus IR over here. Now, from here, guys, we're going to do the following. You also know that for this, it will obey Ohm's law. So the voltage across the external resistance will be equal to the current times by the external resistance R. I can now plug that into here, and we can get the following expression. The current times by the external resistance is equal to the EMF minus I times by little r over here. 
fantastic stuff. Now, guys, I'm just going to move it to one side, guys. We can therefore see that E will be equal to I, capital R, plus I, little r. So we get this expression. We can then factorize. It's equal to I, open bracket, R plus R over here. So, but we've got two equations now, but obviously make sure you can see where this one comes from as well, yes? Make sure you can see where this one comes from as well. Okay, right, now from here guys, we're gonna do the following. Okay, right, last of all, obviously guys, uh, now just a little bit in detail, we're gonna look at our top equation again, we're gonna look at the top one again, just a little bit more detail, just to talk about a couple of things. Okay guys, before we go guys, I just want to look at this formula one more time. So don't forget the voltage across the terminal is equal to the EMF minus IR. So the voltage across the terminal is equal to the EMF minus IR. Right, so I just want to talk about this then. So what happens when the current is high? What's going to happen to the value of VT? Right, so don't forget guys, the EMF is constant everyone. So the EMF is a constant. So this is a constant and so is the internal resistance, guys. So they're going to be constant uh, for your power source. Obviously, the current will change and the voltage potential difference will also change. Right, now from here, guys, we're just going to do the following. We're going to just talk about it. What happens when the current in the circuit increases? So let's just draw this circuit out. I uh, just want to put it, um, make it a bit nicer for us over here. So we're going to put our inter external resistance over there. And we're going to put um, uh, the ammeter over here. Guys, and don't forget, we're going to put a voltmeter around here. The voltmeter around here. Right, now, from here, guys, we're going to do the following. We know that if the current increases, what's going to happen to VT? So these are my symbols. So if the current increases, this is my symbol for increase. As the current increases, look what's going to happen. As the current increases, this entire term gets bigger and therefore E will be losing a greater amount from it. So therefore, the VT goes down, everyone. Right, now, don't forget, so that means that the current goes up, the voltage across the terminal goes down, or the voltage across the external resistor goes down. Right, what about then if the current goes down, what's gonna happen? If this term gets lower and lower, don't forget this is constant, then therefore, the voltage will go up, everyone. The voltage across the terminal will go up. Do not get confused with Ohm's law, guys. Do not get confused with Ohm's law. This is not Ohm's law in this case here. So, guys, we can do the following. We have this relationship that as the current increases, the voltage across the terminal goes down. So we can end up with this then. Let's say we were to plot a graph then of voltage across the terminal and the current. What would it look like? Try and sketch it yourself. Well, hopefully we can see that it would be a line like this. Guys, as the current goes up, the voltage across the terminal goes down. Okay, now from here, everyone, the last thing we're going to do is this. We're going to try and link this equation over here to the equation of a straight line. And we're going to see the reason why we're going to do this in a minute. So we're going to link this physics equation to the equation of a straight line. And the way you do it is the following. So first of all, you simply say that we know that the voltage across the terminal is equal to E minus IR. Okay, the line is going down here and it's a straight line. So because it's a straight line graph, you know you've got to link this equation to the equation of a straight line, which is Y is equal to MX plus C. This is a skill to be able to do, to be able to take the physics equation and link it to the equation of a straight line. Now, from here, guys, you're going to do the following. We're going to rearrange this equation here so that it matches the equation of a straight line. So that means that I've got on my y-axis the voltage and my x-axis is the current. So look, I'm just going to slightly shift it over. So V, I'm just going to leave the subscript right now, will be equal to minus R I plus E. Right, okay, you're probably thinking, why have I done this? Well, you can see the reason why right now. Because now, guys, we can compare the equation of a straight line to the physics equation. These two equations are the same. I've just moved the R on this side over here. So look, on the y-axis, you've got the voltage. Excellent. On the x-axis, you've got the current. Very good. So we can clearly see that. That means that if I was to plot this graph right now, guys, the gradient of this line, guys, you can see 
will be equal to minus r. So the gradient is equal to minus r. And the y-intercept will be equal to c epsilon over here. That will be equal to epsilon over here. And that also makes sense, guys, because, because the current is zero. So when the current is zero, voltage will be equal to epsilon as well. Easy stuff here. Right, so quite a lot to get through, guys, but obviously you should watch it a couple of times, guys, so let's sink in. Make your own notes. Make sure you understand how all the principles work here. We're going to have a recap right from the top to get ourselves going. Right, so what is the internal resistance, guys? The internal resistance is the resistance within a power supply or cell, guys. Yes, yeah, the resistance within the cell here. Right, the best way to talk about it is going to be by using smiley faces. I said that the actual voltage which is coming out of the cell will be equal to the voltage trying to come out, which is E, minus the voltage loss across the internal resistance. And we've denoted lowercase r as the internal resistance over here. Now, from here, we can see that the voltage will be equal to E, subtracting the voltage lost across the internal resistance. And I can work that out by using the current times by the internal resistance, which is Ohm's law. And that leads us to our internal resistance formula, V is equal to E minus IR. Fantastic stuff. Okay, now scrolling down. Then I did the following, guys. I then did the following. I then said, guys, let's connect our uh, cell, guys, to an external resistance R over here. So the external resistance R over here. Right, what's going to happen is this. We know that the voltage across the terminal will be the same as the voltage dropped across the external resistance. Therefore, VT is equal to VR. Yes, both these are the same. And we also know that the voltage across the external resistance is equal to E minus IR. And therefore, we can replace VR with IR, capital R by the way. And then we can use some algebra. We can get a formula for the EMF is equal to I open bracket R plus R. Fantastic stuff. Then, guys, we did the following. Then we said that, oh, the voltage across the terminal is equal to E minus IR. And I reminded you that the EMF and the external resistance is a constant. Both these are constants. And I said to you guys, right, what happens when the current in the circuit increases? And don't forget how I'm going to change the current. It's by changing the external resistance over here. I've put the arrow here. So obviously, if you drop down the external resistance, guys, Therefore, the current in the circuit increases, but therefore VT goes down. The voltage will go down. And obviously the reverse, if you increase the external resistance, therefore the current drops down, therefore the voltage goes up over here. The voltage goes up. And then, guys, we have to do the following. We're meant to take the physics equation and link it to the equation of a straight line. That's a skill to be able to do, guys. So I write down Y is equal to MX plus C, and I rearrange my physics equation to match it up. Yes, because on the y-axis I've got V, on the x-axis I've got current over here, and therefore I can see that on the y-axis I've got V, and on the x-axis if I plot I, yes, the gradient of the line is equal to minus R, and the y-intercept is going to be E over here. Excellent stuff. I know it's loads to take in, guys, but well done for keeping up with all my content so far. All right, and that's it for another session of Sarazzle Dazzle Physics, guys. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button to keep my channel going. And comment below if you get stuck, guys. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.